Howdy dang do, and welcome to another episode of Making Chips, brought to you by Sierra Steel Guitars. I'm Ross Schaefer, your host. Let's make some chips. Tonight, we're making necks for the steel guitars, and we're taking this nice Honduran rosewood, same stuff they make marimba keys out of. Very musical stuff. And we're putting it over here on the table. The first thing we have to do is make some index holes in it. That allows us to machine on both sides and still keep everything lined up. To uh, start out with, I just have some simple fixturing here on the table. I put these dowel pins into the table. That one's not being used because the stock's not big enough right now. And I put the wood right up against here. That keeps the wood nice and straight with the x-axis of the machine. And we're gonna put some holes in here. I'm gonna leave the, the uh, dust curtain off so you can see this first one. Here we go. got some nice precise holes with precise locations uh, milled into my neck blanks. What this is going to do, it's going to pop down on these indexing pins on my fixture. And once I machine one side, those pins allow me to flip it over in the exact same registration so that everything's in the right place in relation to each other, bottom and top. So here we go. <laughs> cutting fret slots. Now that is a little tiny 16th inch router bit. They go pretty slow to keep the uh, very hard wood from chipping and to be nice to my cutter to make sure I get nice accurate slots. Lift our neck blank over again, and we're going to do some little details at the end of the neck. It allows the proper fit of the tuner and changer housing. We machine our neck so that they have minimal contact with the top, leaving the top to be as resonant as possible. So what we do is we scallop the underside and put a relief right here. It's kind of hard to see, but maybe you can see that arch. Anyway, what we're doing now is cutting it. The router just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm falling asleep. Anyway, it goes back and forth 30,000. So this takes a little while. We'll check in on it later. Oh, 
Okay, we've got the underside all machined, and now what we're going to do, before we cut the neck completely out and finish it, I'm going to inlay the mother of pearl dots and the mother of pearl frets, and then get this thing just done and leveled perfectly so that I can dial in the exact thickness from a finished side. So we'll show you some inlay later on. Well, my producer says this video is going to be too damn long, so we're going to break it up into two parts. Stay tuned. We'll have the second half for you in a day or two.